This is a short video on how to use PowerPoint to create a poster. So first I want to change the orientation of the page. Right now it's in landscape mode and I want to change it to portrait mode. So I'm actually going to go to these tabs up here and I am going to click on the design and I'm going to change it to portrait. So now I'm in portrait mode. Next to that you're going to see that there's all these different themes that I can choose from or these templates I can choose from. So if I want to use any of these, I can go ahead and do that, or I can just keep it blank. But I think I'm going to choose something a little bit more interesting. I think I'm going to go ahead and choose, let's see, how about this one with the orange dots. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that, and you'll notice that it's changed it to the slide. So. For this assignment, you're asked to create an advertisement, and I want that to just basically be a poster of what you learned from the movie. So here you can start to add whatever you want to add. So let's say you want to put a title, well I can change this, and let's say I chose to watch Food Inc. So maybe I want to put that at the top. So I can put Food Inc. up here, and I can move these text boxes around anywhere I want to move them. That's the great thing about PowerPoint, is I can change all these things. And I can even add elements to this. I can add shapes, I can add charts, I can add word art even. So let's say, you know, I want to use word art, I think it'll look a little bit more fun. So I can click here, and then I can put another title in. So let's say I want to use word art for the food ink instead. So I can, yeah, maybe I want to delete that one, I can just select it and delete. And then I can move this food ink title up to the top. From here, uh, I can also put in some shapes. So let's say I want to use a shape and I want to put an arrow in. I could put an arrow in right here. I can change the color of this arrow just by going up to the Format tab. And I can change the fill, I can make this fill black. Uh, I can even change the arrow just by rotating like this. Let's see, what else would you want to do? Well, maybe you want to insert uh, maybe something from your photo album. So if you wanted to do that, you would just click on the picture button, and then you'd be able to pull up any pictures you want. So maybe I want to put these heart healthy vegetables in, and then I hit insert, and there's this graphic that I pulled from my photo album. So here, I can add whatever I want to add, and I might say the best movie ever. Uh, so I can add that, I can add some other text here. Uh, I can even go back in and let's say I don't like this design anymore and I want to change that. I can actually do that just by clicking any of these other designs and I can change what I have to say. So maybe I want to adjust these text boxes, I can move them around. There we go. All right, so now I'm ready though, and I want to put this on my blog. Well, I like to upload them as an image. So if I were to save this right now, I'm only going to save it as a PowerPoint file. And instead, I want to save it as a picture. So I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to go to Save As. I'm going to change the name. So let's say I just want to make this Food Inc. Presentation. And then I'm going to go to the Save As type, and you're going to see a big drop down come up. I'm going to go to JPEG, because a JPG is an actual photo, and then I hit Save. Now it's going to take a moment, and it's saying, do you want every slide? Yes, save every slide. And it's saying each slide has now been saved. So now I have ha I've actually saved this as a JPEG, and I would be able to go to my website, and then I would just go to Image, and I would upload it as an image. So it's very easy to make a poster using PowerPoint.